Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center coming at you from my home kitchen because today I'm going to show you all how to properly cut an onion. A few different methods in fact. Let's do it. Now, if you're like me, you're probably spending a little bit more time at home than you usually do these days. And I don't mind that because I actually really like to cook. But if maybe it's not something you used to do all the time and you want to kind of brush up on your skills, I'm going to go over a few different ways and a few different types of onion cutting that you can do to execute your recipes. As you can see, I've got a handful of yellow onions here, just plain, ordinary, everyday yellow onions. And I'm going to go over how to slice, dice, mince, as well as wedge cut these onions for you. First, you're going to want to make sure you're working on a proper cutting board. Don't use glass. I'd suggest either using a synthetic hard plastic board or bamboo or wood for this type of use. We're also going to need to use a knife. And of course, being the knife center, we know a lot about those. So what I'm going to use today is actually Shun's Sora kitchen knife. It's a Santoku style knife, but you can also use a regular chef style knife if you prefer. Both of them are going to work equally well for this task. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is take the paper off of this onion. And in order to do that, I'm actually going to cut this onion in half. When we take a look at our onion, you can see we have two sides or two ends, if you will. We've got a stem end here, as well as the root side or the root end. And before I actually do any cutting, now's a perfect time to make sure your edge is in tip top shape. Now, you don't necessarily have to sharpen your knife every time, but there's a few different things you can do to hone your blade. Probably something most of you are familiar with is what's called a steel or a honing steel. Now, this doesn't actually sharpen your knife, but it does realign the edge. Now, you'll see chefs going down this on either side, and all that is is realigning the edge. You simply hold it at the edge angle of your blade or at, of your uh, knife edge itself, and you're going to run it down a few, few times on each side. Now, most German style chef knives are going to come with a 20 degree angle per side, whereas Japanese style knives, such as this Shun Sora, are going to more likely come with a 15, or specifically in this case, I believe it's a 16 degree edge. So just keep that in mind when you're holding your edge angle to that steel itself. Now that I've got my edge where I want it to be, I'm going to set my onion down and just slice through the stem end of the vegetable, taking it clean off. If any paper is loose, you can go ahead and take that off right now. Throw that in the garbage. Now I'm going to stand it up on its end and slice down through the root, cutting it in half. I usually find it easier to cut it in half before trying to remove the paper because it kind of helps out a little bit, makes it a little bit easier than trying to do it when it's still a whole bowl. But you can cer certainly do that if you'd rather. Now that's just one way to start cutting and peeling your onion. I'm going to show you another one. But first, you can see over here in the corner, I've actually got a bowl full of water. That's because I'm going to take these two completed onion halves, or these two halved onions, I should say, place them in that water. It's going to do a couple things. One, if there's any kind of dust or dirt on some of those outer, outer layers, it's going to wash it off. But also, it's going to help prevent some of the vapors that come off the onion from escaping, getting into your eyes, and making you cry. Because, of course, onions do make you cry. But the water is going to help with that. I'm going to show you an alternate way to start cutting your onion. And for this, I'm going to use a paring knife. Also from the Shun Sora collection. And I really, really like these knives. They're nice and affordable. They use uh, Shun's composite blade technology. So the actual edge itself actually features VG10, which is a really good steel for the kitchen. Takes a nice fine edge, works very well. And they look really cool too. And they're affordably priced. Can't go wrong with that. So I'm gonna take my next onion and I'm gonna start the same way. I'm gonna slice the stem end off. Now on the last onion that I did, I left the root end intact. But on this, I'm actually gonna remove the root before I remove the bulk of the paper. I'll just take off what's loose here first. Now the way that we're gonna take this root end out, we're actually gonna move the onion around the knife rather than trying to move the knife around the onion. And the first thing you need to do is kind of reverse grip the paring knife, just like a paring motion, which is where the name, name comes from, in fact. So we're going to hold it like so, being very careful not to, uh, not to get your hand on the edge itself, and then simply pierce on one side of the root itself. You can go a little bit in and out, but you're slowly going to move the onion in a circle until that root simply pops right out like so. From there, just score the onion, score the skin I should say, and you should be able to peel it off fairly easily almost in one clean go. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and keep this as is because this is gonna come into play with one of the cuts we're about to do. We wanna have this whole onion rather than halved. Now I'm just gonna take this next onion, do the same thing I did with, uh, with the first one, and throw it in the bath so we can get ready for the next steps. All right, now let's get to the actual cutting. And the first thing we're gonna do is a simple slice. And we're gonna start with our whole onion. Now what's cool about what I'm gonna show you today is each of these steps we take, we're gonna build on it in order to get to the next style of cut. But the first, as I said, is a slice. And we're gonna use this whole onion because we wanna get whole rings in this case. Now, depending on the knife you're using, the technique you use to cut it can be a little bit different. With most Santoku style knives like this, you're gonna be typically doing a push cut where you simply place the uh, desired width you want on the onion and push through cleanly, kind of pushing forward. You can also do a pull cut, same thing, holding the knife steady or holding the onion steady with your hand and pulling back. Both are valid. Now, if you're using a typical uh, German style or French style chef's knife, there's actually another cut you can do, but we're not gonna do it on this because this is a, a large, piece of material we're cutting through. Uh, so this is gonna come into play later, which I'll show you. One thing to note what I'm doing is make sure you pay attention to the way you hold your hands while you are cutting. You're gonna wanna use what's sort of called the claw grip. Basically, you're gonna tuck your knuckles in so that they're not out near the path of the blade. And then you can place your thumb at the back of whatever you're cutting. That way, they're all out of the way and there's no possibility that you're gonna actually slice through a finger. We don't wanna do that. And you're actually gonna use your knuckles as a guide for the thickness of what you're cutting. That way, they're out of the way, they work well, you're safe, and you get the results that you need. Now I've cut through most of this and the onion's starting to feel a little bit unsteady, so I don't wanna push it. That's, we're gonna call that good. We've got here our onion rings, which you can break these up. These go well on a salad. You can reduce them down and put them on top of something like a nice steak if you've got some of these caramelized. It's really tasty and this is the simplest way to slice an onion. Of course, if you want to make actual onion rings, you just cut these nice and thick. That way you can batter them later and do your deep frying. There are going to be times that you want to do a slice where it's simply just half the onion rather than the whole onion. Now, this is the part where we're actually going to start building our cuts one upon the other to get towards the, uh, the finer cuts later. But you're essentially going to do the same thing to this half onion we just did to the whole onion. But because it's flatter, it's going to be a little more stable when you get towards the end, which is quite nice. But remember, tuck your fingers in and you can do the pull or push cut, no problem. Now this is where I promise to show you another uh, chef knife technique. A chef knife, as opposed to a Santoku, is gonna have a lot more belly out here near the front, and that's actually to facilitate a rocking cut. Now this particular Santoku kind of rides the line a little bit in between the two styles, so I can show you that method without having to switch knives here. Without your tip ever leaving the cutting board, you can still achieve those fine slices exactly the same way. And we can keep going closer to the root this time, again, because it is more stable. All right, next we're gonna do a dice. And the first step is a new cut, but then we're just gonna add in the slicing cut we just did. Now what you're gonna wanna do, this can be as fine or as wide as you like, we're gonna come down with a series of vertical slices straight down the onion along the grain and then we're gonna come in and do our slicing cut. So we're just straight up and down, using the tip of our blade to come down and make those lines in there so that it's segmented a little bit. Then you're gonna come in with your push cut or rocking cut, whichever one you prefer to use. Same thing like we did with the slicing, and we're gonna cut it up for our mince. Sorry, for our dice. Now I left this a little bit rougher, uh, not quite as thin of a cut, because in general, a dice is a little bit thicker, whereas a mince is a little bit finer, and that's what we're gonna do next. Now, I'm gonna show you the kind of, the official way that's taught in culinary schools right now, and it's gonna start out, again, we're building our cuts one on top of the other. It's gonna start out just, out, just like that dice, but we're gonna go with finer vertical cuts this time. Simply come in, again, with the tip of your blade, and make fine vertical cuts this time, finer than before. 
Now be careful right now since we're not cutting against the cutting board, but you're gonna wanna come in the onion this way, again, leaving the root intact. And try not to slice through uh, the ends of any of this while you're doing so. I know this looks a little bit sloppy, but now we're ready to come through with our standard slicing cut that we learned at the top of this video. As you can see, we already have a finer cube than our dice because again, we're going for minced onions. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up with my knife. Just do me a favor, don't go scraping uh, with your edge along the cutting board, that drives me crazy, but you can use it to kind of scoop up what you've got. And if you do need to scrape the board, I'll usually flip it around so the spine is gonna run against the cutting board rather than the edge. All right, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm actually not a very big fan of using that particular method to do my minced onion. So I'm gonna show you a little shortcut because at the end of the day, unless you're going to culinary school, there's no wrong way to cook food. It's not strictly necessary. Don't cook over like diesel fuel or anything like that, but you, you get the picture. What I like to do instead when I'm mincing an onion is I'll sort of split the difference between what we did in the dice and what we did here in the mince. Now it'll start the same way, right in the middle, I'm gonna do one vertical cut but rather than staying up and down, I'm gonna proceed around each side, continuing to cut radially down towards the center of the onion, again, leaving intact the bulb, or the, the root end, I should say. Now, when I'm cutting the side as it goes away from me, I'm usually using the tip of the knife, but on the side closest to me, I usually start with the heel. That way I can kind of really precisely place my blade and drag the tip just so until it's just shy of the root. Now the reason I like doing this is all of your cuts that you do here are against the cutting board. You're never lifting the blade up and, uh, and scooting it sideways through the onion. I find it a little bit more safer and a little bit easier as well. Once we've got that radial cut all the way around, now we do our slice cut from the beginning, our push cut or rocking cut, whichever you prefer. Still nice and fine, a really good dice. Now this does a really good job, but if you find you need an even finer mince at this point, this is where uh, it works with both styles of knives, the Santoku and the Chef knife, but the Chef may have a little bit of an advantage due to the nature, its rocking nature. But again, this one's a nice hybrid, so we can simply come in and do a rocking cut uh, like so on the cutting board with our front hand out near the tip, going through our onions until we got it as fine as we want. Before we wrap up, I've got one more cut to show you, and that's the petal or wedge. Now, in this case, I'm gonna take my next onion half and I am going to remove the root end of this onion. Now, what's nice about this particular cut is it looks kind of fancy, but it's still very easy to do. Now, the first thing we're gonna do, now that we've got both ends off of this half onion, we split it right down the middle. Now, if you're doing something like kebabs, you can stop right there, because you can peel off those layers and have something that's gonna fit very nicely on a skewer with the rest of your vegetables or meat. But what we're gonna do is actually gonna take things a step further. We're gonna build on that radial cut that I did in my little shortcut there, only we don't have the, uh, we're not gonna do the slice after it. Instead, we just come through, do that radial cut right towards the middle. And then essentially you've got these nice, thin wedges or petals that you can break apart and I really like this for something like salads. They look really nice because you don't really see people using this technique quite as much. Works great in something like a hash or a quiche, especially if you're using like a red onion for a little pop of color. This is all about presentation, this particular cut, and it's really gonna help things look just that much better. All right, hopefully that helps you out and gives you a few different ideas, a few different ways to cut up some onions. But this is just the start. Once you start mastering some of these skills, there's all kinds of different things you can do in the kitchen with the skills you pick up here. If you wanna get your hands on any of the knives I used here, these great Shun Sora knives, we'll leave links in the description to take you over to knifecenter.com, as well as all the rest of our, uh, our collection of kitchen knives and kitchen gadgets that we sell. In the meantime, guys, I hope you're staying safe, sane, and sanitary out there. I'm David C. Anderson from the Knife Center, signing off. See you next time.